Rock and Stone to the Bone and hello dear viewer and welcome to another episode of the Pro Galactic Survivor Danger Darkness Dwarfs an amazing auto shooter with uh, very unique mining mechanic you can find my whole journey in the playlist in the comment description below the video and today we're gonna be continuing the weapon masters I wanna get uh, yeah let's go I agree I agree <laughs> last time I played a driller and today we're gonna be doing a scout and the next weapon seems like it's gonna be stubby voltaic and SMG mastery. Uh, two, four, five, so ten more weapons to get some mastery going, and I'm gonna go to to biomes. So yeah, stubby. I don't know. Oh no, wait, wait, wrong. It's engineer. Sorry, sorry. Uh, scout today. Nishanka. There we go. Nishanka, I want ya. Let's go. I'm gonna do phaser four. I'm a little bit unsure about this weapon. Definitely sharpshooter. And yeah. Let's get some nice bonuses for this weapon as well. Still not getting tired of this game. It's uh, just so good. Just so good. I find it way better than any other similar game I played. Although it is pretty unique. So there is not really any other similar game. It's like this game borrowed some ideas from the um, survivor likes. And then uh, just made it its own. And it's pretty, pretty good. Right, so as usual, we're gonna be going around the map and grabbing as much uh, a white upgrade. Hate to see it. <laughs> uh, and grabbing some uh, gold and nitra and uh, do the objective. And um, hmm. so, what's the plan for the good old Nishanka here? Uh, uh, it's. Um, it's a problem what to do. So I think last time I played when I played Nishanka, I had like this good plan for it. I really want these. I'm gonna get a lot of damage here, but that's okay. We're gonna heal it up. So yeah, last time I played Nishanka, uh, I wanted it to like have four bullets and then shoot all of these four bullets at the same time, and I didn't go fire rate at all. Um, and it backfired dramatically because I didn't get the overclock I wanted in the end. And uh, I still think it was a good thing to go for. It's just a little bit unlucky it didn't happen. Because, like, I really feel like it would be super powerful. And I don't like to deal in mediocrities. Oh, I know. Our drum is going to grab things that say sort of work. And tr hope I just play well enough. No. We want, we want mayhem, we want absolute destruction, we want as many bullets to be shooting out at the same time as possible, and, um, well, I'm going for the same thing again. <laughs> and if it fails, it fails, I don't care. Okay, can you mine faster, please? There we go, okay, good enough. I'm gonna grab this thing. We found some more kite, but we already did the mission, so it doesn't really matter, dude. Impact imminent. Oh, I got the energy bars. Okay. Uh, GG's, I guess. My new favorite item. Mm. Also decided I don't want to grab too much experience gain. Couple is fine, but... If you overdo it, you don't really reap all the benefits properly. Because at that point you're just wasting too many levels for it. And I guess I'm forced to grab some fire it, which is okay. It's not gonna it's gonna be a wasted stat at the end once uh, if I do get the overclock. But if I don't I still want to have like uh, a safety policy. Security policy. Insurance policy. There we go. Okay, so the acid spitters here. That's fine. It's one of the easiest one to kite. And I do want to kite a little bit more because I want more gold and nitra. In this game, gold and nitra is the best way to get powerful because the levels... You're always gonna get the levels, but they have kind of a soft cap. Not so much on weapon masteries, since here it's only three stages, but... Still, a little bit. Fuck, soft cap. Oh, that's nice. A magnet. Very, very nice. So now I want to kill as many enemies and then go back and grab that magnet. 
This thing like has a huge reload timer, I just realized. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you don't need to reload if there is exploding bugs. <laughs> okay. Dum, 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 dum. Hey, look at how fast these are. They're really fast. Okay, I'm gonna go here, explode these. Hopefully they don't blow up on the elite. Okay, I think they did kind of blow up on the elite a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna add a fireball to the rotation. Never felt better. Well, that's nice to hear. Okay, it seems like we are done. I'm gonna kill some more bugs here. Some real speed. I'm gonna grab... So from now on, I'm only gonna grab blue experience gains. Okay, let's go. This weapon sucks. <laughs> That's been one of the worst weapons in the game. Um, we'll see. No, it's probably not, but it just felt like that when I was shooting that thing. Okay, it's a blue experience gain, so... Uh, sure, purple fire rate. Uh, ooh, which one do we get? I think this one's more important. I want to get my critical chance to 100%. Sharpshooter gets bonus crit damage also, so it's pretty great. Let's avoid utility for now, let's just get some damage. Um, yeah. Potency damage, reload speed, what's my... Okay, let's start checking the stats. Real speed, 100, 170, 125. Okay, I feel like reload speed is really important. What's my potency like? Plus 80, 185, okay. Okay, there's a cryo bolt, and now we just need the final overclock. Oh, there we go. That was much faster. Oh, it's far away. It's far away. It's far away. Come on, I wanna cool kill some more bugs. Okay. <laughs> no bug killing. Ah, uh, the force so easy. Oh my, oh my. Mm hmm. This is very expensive for what it does. So for example, if I want to get 50% reload speed, I can just grab two blues, which will cost 36 and this one costs 38. I know it's kind of a small thing, but yeah, it's really not worthwhile to buy most of the time to buy legendary upgrades in the shop. They are poorly priced, something they should fix. Once some crit damage, crit chance, fire rate. Let's skip the fire rate for now, maybe. Nothing for me here. Let's try again. Move speed. Ah, shame. I can't grab that. I rarely take one of these. I want another go. Now, this is a rare and once I see the overclock, I will know if I need more fire rate or not, basically. <laughs> so I can fix it. Although I already took quite a bit, so it's fine. But anyway, if I get the proper overclock, then the fire rate will become useless. But it will also be much better, I think. Let's we'll see. Okay. So I had a... I did have a run where it shoots the one big bullet, right? But then I didn't have enough bullets, different types of bullets. Uh, what is... Okay, so right now... Yeah, this is acid and electrical by default, but we also shoot a cold bullet. Doom, doom. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the clip size? Six. That doesn't make any sense. There is not six. So is it like... It shoots like some of them twice? It seems like it. That's the only explanation to it, okay. Okay, I want this Nitra here, but it's gonna be a bit scrappy, I think. Well, that level up helped a little bit. Um, grab some armor. Okay. I hate these spitters, by the way. They're my most hated enemy. Not on their own, but there's, there's a lot of them. Oh, that those two killed, like, got killed super fast. Mm, slippery. Nah, a little bit. Your mother should have rubbed your tongue with a little bit more soap. Okay. 
can we get to level 18, my Nishanka? Okay, let's go grab the supply pot. Alright. A little bit crowded here. Uh, Alright. It's not like the rarity I wanted, but like one more level and we're there. Yeah, I wanted to grab it, but you know what? It's fine. We can get it later. And now see this silly situation I'm in? It's nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Now, I don't have the... Oh, hello, it's the roly-poly. Good, 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 good. I need how many more mushrooms? Three. Okay, there's two here. There's also plenty experience I see, which is great. Can we get it? Yes, we can. There we go. Bolt volley. Shoots all bolt types at once. Minus 30% fire rate. Oh, I see. Hitting large enemies in rocks, arrows leave behind an electric field that deals damage. That's weird. Okay. It might. We'll see. How does it work, this, now? Okay. Okay. So it's not really at once, it's like... It's like... Did they change this? Oh, I really want this thing. This is weird. I'm not even sure this is any good, actually. <laughs> Tough choice, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I feel pretty strong, though, so it's probably alright. So my fire rate now... 6.94 per second. That's really fast. So he shoots 6 bullets per second? I find that hard to believe. I'm always a skeptic. There might be a cap on that, actually. I feel like... I don't know. There is no way he shoots out 6 of them in a second, is it? Maybe this. Anyway, things are like getting destroyed. Feels really nice. I wonder if I should have played this in Hazard 5 straight from the get-go. So much experience. I didn't see a magnet. 42 is really good, so I don't really need any more levels anyway, so it's fine. If you make it back, yeah, no, it's alright. Sure, let's move on. What's the time? Yeah, 30 minutes, okay. Will he will emerge! Yes, yes, we'll watch it. Don't worry. Here we go. Okay, let's go to here. Are we gonna go be like a little bit naughty naughty here? I could. Okay, let's get some by naughty naughty I mean like started the red note prematurely. Mm. Yeah, I still don't think it's a really really great idea, so let's not. 178. Oh I know why it's going so well. I have the Vita Vita artifact. Yeah, this thing gives me plus 40% damage. That's really a game changer. The artifact. I love it. It's one of the newer artifacts. So while the artifacts did uh, dilute a little bit the pool of the good artifacts, they also added at least one really good one. So did they really dilute it? Answer is no, not really. I think it's about the same. The, the ratio of powerful and not so powerful artifacts. And I think games like this need it. Need a little bit of RNG. RNG in a DRG. 
just to like uh, keep it interesting. Okay. Uh, I could use some Nitra so I can reroll the artifacts. I wonder which artifact I would want to get anyway though. Oh look, it's our friend, the the purple bug. Okay, hello there, mate. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Love it. I'm just gonna grab. What's my real speed right now? Oh, 1.49 seconds. That's a lot. What is it now? Yeah. Well, it's it does it quite significantly actually. Didn't expect that much. Uh, it reduces it from the base value, of course, not from the current value, so... Okay. This diminishing returns formula. The gold ult diminishing returns formula. Okay, some more gold. Okay, supply pods ready. I wanna clear around it. Okay. Oh, got hit quite badly there. I'm a little bit weak when it comes to like armor health and these kind of things though. So should be playing carefully. This is a glass cannon build after all. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, I got a little bit used to playing stuff like Juggernaut, so. Who needs healing when you can reduce your max HP even further so it looks like you healed, but in reality you did not. <laughs> Let's go, more damage! New dwarf, indeed. Okay, grab that. This will be interesting, I did not clear out the level as much as I usually do. Okay, come on, what did hit me there? I have no idea. Anything hiding behind rocks? Nope, good. That's nice. Uh, right now, how this weapon is doing reminds me a little bit of Thunderhead. Just a little bit though. What's the damage like? It's pretty good. Oh, already second phase? Okay. Yeah, I'll just leave the supply pot to its things then. Alright. Gonna miss that probably, yep. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now I just need it to actually target the boss and we'll be golden. Bam! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, let's do it in Hazard 5. Now, this is the new thing I do. I do Weapon Hazard 4 and then just go straight into Hazard 5. Let me know how it feels in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't know yet if I'm gonna win or not. And as you already know, the, web, the name of the video does not spoil it, so... We'll see. And this was a decent performance, so I'm like optimistic, but... Hazard 5 is much harder than Hazard 4, and I did get a good setup going, which... Let's hope we get it again. Um... Okay... Right. Yeah, but now I need to like I cannot greed as much. I need to avoid damage. Really important thing to do. I wonder what my crit rate was. It was probably pretty high. Okay. Balance again between all the things. <laughs> Just go everything. What should I take? Damage, potency, fire rate, real speed, everything. We just grab everything. Eeyaw. This is it. 
Okay. Grab the artifact. Wonder what it's gonna be. Hopefully with the minor pills again. Right. There's a lot of enemies here and they're like... Mm, you should not have the artifact today. <laughs> and I'm like, are you sure? Yes, we are sure. Are you completely sure though? And they're like, I don't know, we'll try, we'll try. Okay. Firebolt. Uh, poof. Okay. Not what I wanted to see, but maybe it kind of helps. And yeah, I don't want to like reroll because there's nothing worse than rerolling and then getting even worse. Like, it would be another thing if I could like ban artifacts from the pool and then reroll, but I can't. So. Should probably lean a little bit more into the um, into the potency now because of that, but we'll see, we'll see. Also, I got the magnet last time at the end of the first run, at the end of the first stage, so yeah, everything kind of came together to have a really ridiculous red knot fight. And now that I actually need it on Hazard 5, well, game's like, okay, let's start with, mm, let's not give you the minor pills, no. Mm, instead, we're gonna give you piercing, which is useless on a weapon, which seems like it has unlimited piercing already. 50, yeah. And let's give you a potency, yes, for a weapon which shoots once every half second. Yes, yes, there's no way you can stack up anything with it, but hey, here you go. And... Ah, uh, you like health and survivability? Here's some, it's not gonna help you kill anything, but here's anyway. So, hope you're happy, good luck, you want a challenge, you get some. But, uh, yeah, it's fun, it's fun. Oh no, 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 that was really, really bad. I'm surprised I didn't take more damage there. Okay. Oh, well, there's the damage. There's the... Whoa! I was looking in the wrong direction. Okay, now I'm in big trouble. But there's some sugar here, so that's a good start. Okay. I really want that sugar. I need that sugar. Okay. Ugh. Things are not good. <laughs> Oh no, I wanna cry. <laughs> okay, let's see what can I do here. I can run from it this way. Alright. Hmm. I need a break. <laughs> okay, hopefully I got most of the bugs on this side now because that was really crazy. Oh, it's gonna die. So maybe I give up on that sugar. It just, it seems like it's... I should be able to get it easily, but once I get there, there's just so many enemies, it's not possible to do. Yep, experience wants us to make a better dwarf. We get more levels. Oh, look! It's just some sugar on the floor randomly. Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Oh no, you hit the wrong target, dude. You're supposed to hit the small dude, so we can keep on playing. Who taught you how to play, dwarf? Who taught you how to play? Level 19. I mean, it's not super crazy, but... It's uh, decent enough. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I feel powerful. It's pretty good. Now, I did leave a lot of uh, experience on the level, but that's the charm of this game. You can't get it all unless you get the magnet. Sometimes you get a magnet, but 21 should be enough. Okay, I like movement speed. I'll grab some. 
Let's see what the final overclock is. We did get it again, so that's nice. Well, hopefully it does. Critical damage. Sure. The only thing we are lacking now is either Vita Minor Pills or Pickled Nitra. And then if I get Pickled Nitra, maybe some movement speed. Although 28 is already pretty decent. I think this weapon has uh, enough. T -t 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 -t. Yeah, yeah, okay. The shoot speed is pretty good. Doesn't seem like there's any delay, things just fly out super fast. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, like because of how it shoots, like it doesn't shoot them all at the same time as one bullet, but instead just shoots them in rapid succession. Because of that, the reduced fire rate is like false advertisement. It actually feels like you have increased fire rate. Like, if I didn't know exactly what the thing actually does, I would say, yeah, 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 this overclock increases fire rate, that's what it does. Okay, it's a bit sketchy, but I think I can sneak through there. Okay. And... Okay, there's a core up there. I'm pretty sure I don't need any more cores, but... I'm just gonna continue picking them up because the game keeps spawning them and they're they are important to me lore wise. There we go. Bam. Okay, and then we go clear up the landing pod. Hope for some Vita pills. Why are they called Vita pills? They're they're anti Vita pills. <laughs> uh, Oh, there was a magnet, didn't even see it. I was so tunneled visioned on this thing that... Ah, it's a shame I picked it up, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, I'll grab this thing. It's decent. It's not as much damage as Vita Pills give, but it's something. We have a bunker, guys. We have a bunker. <laughs> That's gonna blow up now, though. That's cool. I, like, I love that. I don't do that more often, though. Just hide inside a nice little bunker. Now we need to pick up the experience because, well, I'm not so lucky to get two magnets. I'm not sure if you can even get two magnets. And I'm not sure if taking fire rate makes any sense at all, but I'll still take it if it's of appropriate rarity. <laughs> In games like here, have some more. <laughs> I think I'm just wasting those levels when I take it. Oh, 36. The best survivor. Let's just check our stats. 285, 265. Okay, we can use some more damage, I think. Or potency, I don't know. Or a little bit of both. Now, there might be some more mineables up here. Okay. Okay, one of side the elite. Oh, we need one more of that. This weapon's actually not super precise. It's precise enough though. Yeah, it just snipe the elite, that's fine. That is okay. Yeah, yeah. It will leave. And this is one of the hated mechanics, this countdown here. <laughs> People really want to stay around and farm and just pretend this is Vampire Survivors or something. And this, for me, is great. This actually like saves my time. The game's like, hey, you're powerful enough. Just go. You don't need to stay here and farm. Just go. Just go. 
And I think it's like a really nice thing. Uh, part of me really hates it, like it's normal I do, but I do appreciate it a lot. It's like a love-hate relationship, you know? <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. It does its job really well. Like, alternatively, you could make the bugs go stronger and stronger, like they already are. Problem with bugs getting stronger and stronger is that it's hard to balance. Like, if you make them too strong too fast to push the player out, uh, then uh, it feels like really bad and you might even have trouble killing the elite or you have to do something weird like they get strong but only slowly strong while there's an elite around but once you kill the elite then they get strong but they get super strong really fast and even then like you need to still reach the thing like sometimes sometimes you lose not because the timer ran out you lose because you can't reach it because you're just not powerful enough to like cleave your way through enemies so if you remove the timer and just make enemies go stronger and they they spawn faster than you can kill them and they just like overwhelm you and you can't get into the drop pod that would feel way more worse than it is right now with the counter and then if you don't make them strong enough then hey then you can just farm anyway and become super powerful and then you're in this silly situation where you're like how much more should i farm i don't know like just in case let's farm some more and then before you know it two hours passed uh you could have been doing two or three exciting runs but instead you just have this one run where you kill the dreadnought in five seconds you think you're really smug about it but actually you defeated the purpose of playing games in the first place so it is an amazing mechanic and those few who go who like complain about it on steam forums they are just wrong well this is all my opinion, of course. It might be that I'm wrong, but... Obviously, I don't think so, yeah? Ooh, fire rate, move speed reduction, okay. Well, I'm on final stage, and sure enough, there's the energy bars. Why did I call them Vita Minor Pills? These are not Vita Minor Pills, sorry about that. They are energy bars. Vita minor pills actually do do something with Vita, which means life in Latin. And they give uh, more healing on level up, I think. So energy bars, not Vita minor pills. I was looking for energy bars this whole time. And I also fooled the game. The game was like, yeah, we're not going to give you Vita minor, pi uh, Vi Vita minor pills. Little did the game know. And I just picked up the supply pod, which I never do usually against the Dreadnought fight. But I totally forgot it's stage three. So whoops. Um, I should have dropped it on its head first and then picked it up. It's not like the result would be any different, right? It could be. I don't know. Anyhow, we're gonna need some room, so... Clearing the area. Get it all nice and clean of all the debris. So we can fight on my own terms. Okay, dodging quite a Oh my gosh, what's my HP at? Yeah, let's fix that. There's some sugar here. Good, good, good. Yo! Yeah, the shooters are still a problem. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and even this two damage I'm getting hit by lava, which is usually nothing, will add up. So maybe I should be a bit more careful. Mm. Things are not dying nearly as fast as they used to on Hazard 4. This will be nasty. It's the twins. Well, I guess I'm lucky. These two dudes are so stronger enemies than that. But we'll see. So in the end, it didn't really matter too much. I didn't pick up the drop pot. Okay, I can just like do like max distance shooting. Because it's gonna shoot them both, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, 
Uh, it was an okay idea, but but anyway, they are getting damaged, so GG. GG. Like nice thing with this weapon is you can just max range it and then like shoot them both, but it seems like that's really working that great as I would like. So just spending a lot of time killing everything else, which is okay. Which is all right. Okay, I'm gonna line it up like this. Oh come on, this thing messed me up. It's all right. It's all right. But yeah, uh, most probably here another weapon has a five done. I just need to continue dropping down the damage. There's no bugs, so eventually gonna have to hit the elite. I don't know why I'm like being so far away from them. Just a little bit scared of my HP pool, I guess. It's much easier to like avoid the enemies if you're just, you know, max range. I'm super fast, so I'm not worried about getting overwhelmed or anything like that. If this is the power of speed. Yeah, I guess without the Vita Minor Pills it would take a little bit longer, but... No, not Vita Minor Pills, Energy Bars! Energy Bars, get your facts straight, dwarf. Okay. Okay, let's not have it jump on me while frozen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Excellent job indeed. So I finally did the build I wanted. I also got some nice artifacts to go with it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. In the next one, we're gonna move on onto the next weapon. I'm gonna grab the gunner. Uh, right, 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 right. So let's see the damage. So this thing dealt 8,000 base, 8 million base damage or so. And then <laughs> you can see elemental damage here from electrical fire. So dots did quite a bit. So, But also the dots did not do significantly more than the rifle itself. So I think it's good to go both damage and potency with this weapon. Just a little bit of everything. And uh, yeah, let me see. So the game says, what is this number here? 56. Where does it say how many cores I have? One core is remaining. Okay. Although I do have all the upgrades, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh, right. So next time we'll be playing Gunner. So that means... Burst Fire Gun Mastery. Should be nice and clean. Um, but yeah, have a wonderful day, everyone. Do some nice things. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Deeper Galactic Survivor. The Neomer signing out. Rocket Stone to the bone. The... Bye-bye.